Hi everyone, today I have a new book review for you. I am so excited to do this. I've literally just finished doing my live chat and Q&A kind of thing. Just thought I would film another video. I am in a video mood. I'm happy and video moodish. So I'm going to do a book review today and it's on Skuldegree Pleasant Mortal Coil by Derek Landy. This is the fifth book in the series. Yes, I am aware I did not review the fourth book, but my review is on Goodreads, so I will link that down below in the description along with the review for this one as well. And yeah, let's just get going. So I'm not really going to do a summary of what this is about simply because it's kind of hard to do it when it's a fifth book in a series. But the series is basically just about Skuldegree Pleasant, who is a skeleton detective, and Valkyrie Kane. They have like journeys and stuff throughout it. It is fun. It's middle grade, but it is so much fun. Such an easy read. You don't really have to think about much. And, you know, you just get absorbed into the world immediately. So it is a definite recommendation. Obviously, if you have read the book and just want to know a little bit more about it, just, you know, look online. There'll be so many blurbs. There'll be one on Goodreads as well, actually. So obviously take the link there and you will find one right there. So give that a go. So for the characters in this book, I'm going to give them a 4.5 out of 5 because I always love the characters in these books. How can I not? They are so lovable and so likeable. Probably the highlight of the book. You know, Valkyrie Skullduggery. They are epic, you know, and they are so fun to read about. I just love discovering them. They change with every single book and really develop with them. You know, you've been right from the start with them. And that just really, you know, they capture my heart. They always grab me in and, you know, definitely the highlight. We're also introduced to a character called Tesseract in this book as well. He is very intriguing and, you know, exciting to read about. I always love the new characters. You know, a lot of things centered around them. And it's just, there's, I don't know how Derek Landy comes up with all this. You know, wow. Incredible ideas, very, very, very epic. Quite a lot of characters to keep up with, if I'm going to be totally honest. Sometimes not fully clear in mind, sometimes I get a little bit confused. But in general, that is a very minor thing, and it doesn't really matter too much. So it's only going to get a 0.5 deduction, just because I'm just doing that. The next thing is plot, and although this seems to be a very low rating for me, I'm sorry, I will explain. 4 out of 5 for the plot. Probably the darkest one that we've had so far. There was a lot of intensity and action in there. As always though, you know, always very, very intense. Always really grabbing you in. Very, very, you get hooked in it, you know. It is, you can't stop reading. It's such a fast read. The events all flow very nicely. Everything just works very well. It's just easy to follow, which I think is the main good thing, again, about this book. It is an easy read. I actually enjoyed the beginning and the end the most. I found the middle wasn't as good. You know, it kind of dragged on. I think in that sense, it was a step back from the previous two books, which were really, really good. I absolutely loved them, and I couldn't hardly fault them. This one, the plot, maybe because it's a bit longer, it was it just dragged on a little bit more. The middle, I think, just was padded out a bit much, and I don't know if the style works well when, with it all long and padded out. But we'll talk about that now in the writing, which gets a 4.5 out of 5. Derek Landy does improve with every single book. You know, you can see a huge comparison. If you look between book one and book five, um, you would definitely, definitely see an improvement. Descriptions are always improving. Generally, love his writing techniques. They have grown loads since he started. I think that is great to see a development from an author. It's becoming more complex as a style. I just really like this description. Obviously, I think the side characters, sometimes I get a little bit confused, but I'm not necessarily sure they need more description. It's just there's a lot of them to keep up with. Still, though, a very easy style to read. I heavily enjoy it. Cannot put it down. Literally, I think it was something like 200 pages in two hours. 100 pages an hour is mental. You know, I can never really do that with other books. This is an exception, but it's a good thing because I really, really enjoyed it. I think, like I said, the middle could move a little bit faster. But that is the only thing that I can really find fault with the writing. So, still love it. You know, 4.5, wow. You know, I really want to give something a 5, but not that extra spark. She needs something else. So, for enjoyment, I'm going to give that a 4 out of 5 as well. Incredibly enjoyable. You know, writing style, characters, everything like that was on point. The characters and stuff, they just never fail to amaze. You know, I'm always on the edge with excitement. And I think that is the best thing about a book. It's to entertain and enjoy. You know, you need to enjoy it. And I just think the... Previous books were a little bit better, so this was kind of like a downgrading kind of, but still very, very good. Still absolutely enjoyable. So overall, that means 4.3 out of 5. Great read. As always, absolutely love this. I mean, I don't know why I have such a big gap between reading them. should probably read them one after another, but the next one is Deathbringer, which is book 6. I can't wait to read that, so that will be extremely epic. I want to read it, so 
that is it for this review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, share and subscribe. Tell me what you thought. Did you enjoy this review? And did you enjoy the book? Or are you going to read it? Have you started the series? Anything like that. The laptop is fanning like crazy now. And that is bad. So I'm sorry about the quality in terms of sound. But anyway, thank you for watching. And see you all again later. Bye.